done. Or just mod. I don't care. Now let's check and see if it works on here. Alright, that fits on perfectly. It looks good. It'll fit well. And what I have to do now is I put the extra 4 back in between extra 3 and extra 5. Turn on the chassis. Turn on the DFF. That looks good on this as well. Now that this is done and that I'm satisfied with it, deselect everything, select those. Move the selected mode, move it back a bit here. That's sticking out a bit on the back, I don't want that. Alright, okay. Moving on. The mod is done. Now we take the mod, we put it in here, underneath chassis. We deselect everything, we go attach, we go attach multiple, we change this to mod, click the mod thing. Now we're attaching mod, okay, sorry, attach to, change, chassis. And now we are attaching mod to a chassis. There we go. So now, every time you scroll over top of this, you get everything. Okay, now we have extra one at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. Extra one, extra two, extra three, extra four, extra five. Turn on everything else. Turn on the ped dummies. Turn off chassis volume because that just makes it look all bulky and crappy. Turn on the front seat and the back seat. Minimize this. Minimize that. I can zoom in here and I can show you how it all looks. Neon light works on there. The license plate's on the back. Everything's done. So now we can file and save it as mod complete. Save your desktop. Now we have to export our mod. So we export as NRG 500.dff. So we go into the new folder, we click the uh, original DFF that we had. Right click it, then we delete it. Yes, we back out of the new folder. We delete two numbers. It was two zeros in this case, because we have to keep it the exact same as the other DFF. We go back into the new folder. We export, and we go up here. We close. Now we go into the new folder. This is the important part. We go inside of the nrg500.txt file. And we import license and neon, which is one of the things that we had. Now we import metal as well. Those are the two files that we added. Now we double click this one, we turn off alpha is used, we turn on compression. Okay. Go to metal, double click it, turn off alpha is used on compression, click OK. This is Text Workshop. This is one of the tools you'll be needing for installing and creation of a mod. Save it when you are done. Exit this. The file will be a bit bigger. This file will be a bit bigger too. Make sure the files are the same size. Or not the same size, but <coughs> make, for, make sure the files still actually read as having something in them. Gigabyte format. I don't know how to explain it. When you're done, close that up. Now that you're done that, you 
and go into their computer, go into the C drive, go into the program files. You also get you're gonna need image tool for this. Go back into image tool. File open GTA three. Edit find NRG500.txd. Export this into the desktop so you have a backup. Edit find export extract to the desktop so you have a backup. Not into the new folder. If you export into the new folder you won't have anything edited and all of that time that you just spent on making a mod would be for waste. So now delete that file the nrg.dff. Edit and find the nrg.txd. Delete the txd as well. <coughs> Add the new two files that you just made in the new folder. The nrg500.txd first, followed by the nrg500.dff. Go to Rockstar Games and start up San Andreas to test it. Now if you don't have if you don't want to start up San Andreas for testing and you have this tool that I have, GM, which is Game Garage Mod Manager, it allows you to see all your mods and see all the cars that you have in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna go NRG five hundred. Now you can see already but there is a little bit of an error with our mod at the bottom there. There's that little centerpiece. Let's see if that's right. Is that actually there? Nah, it's probably just a lie. Whatever. I deleted all the stuff in the middle anyway, so that isn't, or it shouldn't be up there or there at all, but I'll delete it anyway, so fix that. Now we're going to turn this and make it white. White those colors special turn on 5 and 2 you can see that the license plate is running correctly works on the back the neon light at the bottom is working correctly all the textures on the vehicle are running correctly all of these are coming up black as they should because I have alpha these and alpha is a thing that uh, you can do in text workshop I have made a tutorial for that as well. Check it up. Uh, check it out on my YouTube page. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Thank you for watching my extremely long tutorial on how to make a simple San Andreas mod. Honestly, if you are making a mod, it is not this hard. It is way quicker. And uh, happy modding! This mod will be posted on the Milo Thirty Fours mod page within uh, 24 hours of the video being posted or the five videos being posted now how do I stop recording there we go